The PLS-4 is a standardized test which is administered to children from ages birth through 6 years, 11 months, with possible language disorder or delay. It targets receptive and expressive language skills in the areas of attention, social communication, vocabulary concepts, play, phonological awareness, language structure, gesture, vocal development, and integrative language skills. The PLS-4 comes with an examiner's manual, picture manual, record form, and manipulatives. In addition, it also comes with three supplemental measures. These include an articulation screener, a language sample checklist, and a caregiver questionnaire. The examiner's manual provides information about the test, how to administer, score, and interpret data gathered from the test, and suggestions for follow-up assessment. The picture manual contains the color picture stimuli necessary for many of the test items. The manipulatives are used to facilitate interactions with the child. There are 23 manipulatives included in the test package. These are a ball, bowls, a box, blocks, cars, a cloth, cups, rattles, spoons, a squeaky toy, teddy bear, and colorful wind-up toys. You will also need bubbles, crackers, or some other type of snack, three metal keys on a ring, one sheet of notebook paper, one sealable bag with a zip-type closure, several age-appropriate toys and books, a watch with a second hand or stopwatch for timing purposes. All of these manipulatives can be provided by the examiner, but it is important to note that children functioning at the five to six year age levels are tested using stimuli that comes mostly from the picture manual. Danny is a five-year-old girl who is exhibiting several speech and language concerns. She has difficulty pronouncing affricates and glides. As a result, Danny has challenges pronouncing colors and shapes. She attends kindergarten but has a hard time socializing with her peers in speech-related activities. Danny is self-conscious about her articulation problems and often exhibits behavioral problems when confronted with class participation. Her teachers would describe her as shy, withdrawn, and often inattentive during lessons. She does not make many communicative attempts. Danny was referred for therapy by her kindergarten teacher and has not received any previous speech therapy. She comes from a single family household in which her mother works full time. Danny has an older brother who is 12 years old, stutters, and has received therapy. Danny does not have much interaction with her brother and mother due to their hectic lifestyle. She spends most of the day being watched by a babysitter until her mother comes home late from work. Danny's mother reports that she has not noticed a problem and that there were no complications during pregnancy. Danny reached developmental milestones at appropriate times and experienced an otherwise normal development. Now point to the white kitten that is sleeping. Okay. Point to the kitten that is not black. Okay. Point to the small black kitten in the box. Here are some pictures of little girls. Which picture shows a girl with long hair? Okay. Which, look at all of these boys picking apples from the tree. 
which boy is tall? Okay. These little girls are trying on new pants. One of them has pants that are too short. Show me the pants that are short. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you some questions about where you do things. Are you ready? Okay. Where do you sleep? Bed. Okay. Where do you play? The park. Okay. Do you cry when you are sad? Mm -hmm. What do you do when you're happy? I uh, dance. I could say, when I'm sad, I cry. But when I'm happy, I smell. Mm -hmm. Let's try some more. I sit on a chair. I sleep in a bed. Noodles are for eating. Milk is for drinking. An apple is red. A banana is yellow. Okay, Danny. We're going to play a word game now. Say these words. Say zoo. Zoo. Say buzz. Bows. Say like. Like. Say ball. Bow. Rabbit. Wabbit. Door. Doll. Think. Tink. Teeth. Teeth. Street. Street. Strong. Strong. 20 minutes later. To score the PLS4, first figure out the raw score for the AC and EC sections. Then figure out the norm reference scores by looking at the tables located in Appendix A of the examiner's manual. From these norm reference scores, figure out the total language score and record all findings on page 1 of the record form. The PLS-4 was normed on 1,564 children ranging from the ages 2 days to 6 years and 11 months. Within each age level, approximately 15% were male and 50% were female. The representative sampling was taken on the basis of parent education level, geographical region, and race. Other additional characteristics not included in the 2000 census were children's learning environment, languages spoken, English dialects spoken, and identified conditions. In preparation of publication of the test, surveys were collected from the final set of items from a large sample of 2,400 children in the 48 lower states of the U.S. The response collected from the large sample were structured on representation of the United States population in the 2000 census on the basis of race, region, parental education, and geographic region. Proof of validity is based on content, on response processes, on relationships, and other variables, on internal structure, and on consequence testing. Acceptable Reliability internal consistency of items. The auditory comprehension was 0.86 and expressive communication 0.91 with an overall of 0.93. Test retest. A sample of 218 children ages 2 to 5 were retested. The coefficients were between 0.82 to 0.95 for subscale scores and 0.90 to 0.97 for the total language score. Interrater. 15 elementary teachers with three weeks experience using the PLS4 were trained using scoring rules and there was 99% agreement between scores. The test offers modification for special populations. Children with developmental delays, hearing or visual impairments, or autism could be tested using criterion reference information. But the representation of ethnic groups must be increased. Diversity in the 2000 PLS4 census reports ethnic minorities constituted 38% of the sample, but in 2013, the test items must be adapted to accommodate drastic changes in demographics. PLS5. 
now featuring birth through seven, includes growth scale values evidence-based to track progress of children over time, more considerate of differences in demographics with the option of Spanish screening tests and Spanish language test items to accommodate an influx of bilingual children, minimalizes shifts in administration between manipulative and picture manual for smoother transitions.